Timber Lodge 27RES by Adventure Manufacturing here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, interesting side note, Adventure Manufacturing was uh, some of the brain children behind that were actually some of the uh, big industry giants and moguls that uh, were behind uh, Fleetwood back when it was in its prime. Um, before they went publicly traded, at one point Fleetwood owned 75% of the market share in the RV business. That's Tobles motorized everything. And they brought a lot of their experience over here, and I can I see a lot of the, those traits that kind of filtered through. Um, this is a uh, a 27 foot combination rear living entertainment uh, couples coach, uh, big super slide in the living room, perfect for a half ton uh, pickup is really what this is made for. I really love that giant rear window there, um, and just little things I, I see that you know again that that Fleetwood flare that was brought over. Just like the little um, skid uh, skid points there on the rear bumper, so like if you're going into a gas station that has a really tall bumper or some or uh, uh, curb rather, um, it will give your uh, bumper a place to skid before like your landing gear gets ri uh, uh, ripped off and whatnot. Very large baggage compartment. You can see some really big doors right there, and uh, it's it's funny because everything is a push and a pull, guys. Um, you know, if you want lightweight, you may have to give up something else or you're going to have to increase cost. You know, uh, in this case, this has a very blunt nose. And a lot of people are gonna say, oh, that's not very aerodynamic. Keep in mind, even something with this big bullet nose, frankly, not very aerodynamic. It's, it's, it's not an airplane, it's not a submarine, it's not made with hydro and, and thermal and liquid dynamics and aerodynamics in mind. Um, the uh, uh, advantage here of a blunt nose is that it gives you more bedroom space. This has more bedroom space, more headroom above the bed, and um, more uh, storage above the bed as opposed to something with a tapered nose. So again, everything's a push and a pull. If this is something you're not gonna tow a ton, the blunt nose is actually more of a benefit than a detriment to you, but that's why there's all kinds of different campers because they all serve a little bit different purpose out there. Um, let me back up and give you a good view of everything here, just a moment pretty darn clean inside i mean i'm like i said looking at the upholsteries and stuff everything's nice and clean so this has been used but it's been really well kept and that, that's the biggest thing to me um you know looking at a used rv i've seen rvs come in that were what i would call uh, a not high quality cutthroat brand that are just in dynamite shape after 20 some odd years and I've seen RVs come in that are from what I would consider a very high quality brand that are just virtually destroyed after only a couple of years of ownership because it really does matter how you take care of your investment. And this is well managed, this is well maintained. It was built properly from the ground up when it was first built, but it was maintained properly and that's honestly even more important. Um, uh, you know, good kitchen storage space here. I like the giant um, cabinet space that they have under the sink there, as well as under the oven. Not every manufacturer will give you access to that big pocket under the oven because the door costs a cent more. Some manufacturers will cut that out to save a few bucks, and I like that I don't see corner cutting here. Like, a lot of manufacturers don't have a full bank of storage above the slide-out like you see here in this timber lodge. Those are good things that I like to find. Um, you know, doors on the front of the dinette for easy storage under there. We have jealousy windows. We have slider windows on the ends of the slides. This has all those critical things. Um, you know, I can find you another trailer that's shaped just like this, but doesn't have those features that'll save you a dollar, but you're not going to enjoy your camping trip as much. It's not as user-friendly or functional or livable or whatever word you choose to apply to it. Um, I do like this big closet here right in the hallway, too. This is right across from the bathroom, so this could be extra clothes, this could be linens. This is a very intelligent uh, feature to have right here. Um, moving forward, bed, obviously we can get walking around it very easily, so you don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle. We do have a second entry door direct to the bathroom right here, or pardon me, bedroom right here. Uh, what's neat about that is if you are going down the road and the slide out is in, you can still sneak through here a little bit, but if you come in the front door, it's easy direct access to the bathroom. You can get to every facility in this RV with the slide out closed. So that's what's really nice for those longer trips when you need to make a pit stop. A little clothes hamper over here, by the way. That'll flip up and you can put a laundry basket down there to keep your dirty clothes in. And once again, I'm very impressed by the overall cleanliness of the camper. It's in very nice shape. 
You know, a lot of times I'll see a TV stand in an older camper with scuffed up walls, and they obviously didn't put a TV here, so they used it, but gently, and they maintained it properly. Those are all good things to, uh, you know, those are, that's the most you could ever hope for out of a used RV, frankly, other than a good price, and considering the fact that last year we sold uh, over 1,035 RVs, I'd say our pricing must be pretty darn good. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.